the whole sort of underlying theme of the book is around, you know, if you had a choice to change history, you know, would you do that? Hi, I'm Johnny O'Brien. I'm the author of Day of the Assassins. Well, yes, I got the idea really um, when uh, my dad was looking through some old stuff uh, in the house and he came across these, uh, these medals and he explained that they were actually his dad's, uh, my grandfather's. It kind of got me thinking about the whole First World War thing and what it would be like you know, to go back and actually you know, be there. History's got great stories in it already, it's got great characters, you know, amazing things happen but you don't have to make it up because it's already there. The problem, of course, is that if you're going back and you're going to set a historical context, it's got to be reasonably accurate. And that's quite challenging. And that's just a question of going to the library, getting on the internet, asking experts. And it, it, is, it surprised me how much effort was involved. Jack starts off being, uh, I suppose, the weaker character, certainly physically compared to his mate, uh, Angus. But on the other side, you know, he's probably a bit smarter than Angus, so it kind of keeps him on the straight and narrow in terms of when they come across problems. But yeah, he's got asthma and, you know, he's probably not your most obvious hero. Without giving too much away, I mean, they're playing the game and the game is as if it was reality. And, you know, when you play these computer games, they're so fantastic these days that it, you become totally absorbed in them. And, you know, actually then later on in the book, um, they go through what has happened to them in the game. And that is real reality, uh, of course. And, you know, the experience is slightly different. And I thought that contrast was kind of an interesting one to try and make. Everything is connected to the First World War and a lot of the misery in the 20th century, including in the First World War, is connected to that event. The trigger point was the assassination of the Archduke in Sarajevo in 1914. Now, on the face of it, um, if you had the chance to go back there and say, right, well, if we sort of alter that tiny bit, that trigger point, and the uh, assassination doesn't take place, then in theory, all subsequent events are, are changed and different and maybe better. The question is really whether that's a good thing to do. There are more Jack Christie adventures planned. It looks like at the moment we're going to do something Elizabethan. So uh, that will be interesting departure, certainly from the first World War. <laughs>